for staying with us on this Saturday. I'm Liz Collin. A man has been arrested in connection with an apartment fire that killed a man overnight. This happened at the 1500 Park Avenue in Minneapolis just before 11 last night at this apartment building. Investigators say two people jumped from their windows to escape the flames. One of those victims lost his life. The other is in stable condition. WCCO's Jeff Wagner is live near the scene with more on the arrest and how others made it out alive. Certainly a dramatic scene last night, Jeff. Yeah, Liz, and the remnants of what happened last night still scattered all across the ground. And here in front of the apartment, you see shattered glass. You see window screens that have been popped out and metal or metal and boards. And if we start to look up, you see where those window screens came from. That apartment we're looking at right now with the windows out is where neighbors say at least one person jumped out to try and escape those flames. That man, unfortunately, dying hours later at the hospital and now investigators have yet to tell us exactly how this fire started but neighbors tell us it started right here in the stairwell when somebody ignited it i was running out the door as it flamed up iris mitchell was one of the first tenants to escape the apartment building at 1500 park avenue friday night as a fire filled the front stairwell and hallways trapping people inside but what she says she saw before that has her shocked. And I seen some guy in the hallway, I don't know him, and he I said, what the F are you doing? He said, I'm going to set y'all on fire. Y'all need to get up out of here. And that's when I ran. Firefighters say before they got on scene, two tenants had already jumped out of their third story windows. One of them later died in the hospital. I literally thought we were, I thought we were going to die. Jennifer Tesh tried running out the back but says there was too much smoke. Then she heard screams from a neighbor. She threw her cushion out and she was going to jump. And I said, it's not time for that right now. They're on there. I could hear them coming. Firefighters then pulled her and several others out of windows and down ladders to safety. Very thankful. Seriously, you guys, I am shocked. That disbelief partially stems from how the fire started. Mitchell says she saw a man spray lighter fluid on the stairwell before she ran. Investigators haven't released details, but they did arrest Marcus Dwayne Shanks on murder charges. That's where my tears come from is, you know, we lost a innocent community member because of somebody's foolishness. You can see the uh, front door boarded up. The building is closed off. Tenants were quickly allowed in to grab some of their belongings, but they're not allowed to stay here. It is not safe, not livable. The good news is the Red Cross is helping them tonight. Wow, what a night. All right, Jeff, thank you.